Do not. Is train Karen ringing a bell for you? Today, this train Karen situation got a lot worse and I project it to get even worse, but I'm gonna update you with where it's at today and who she is and how we got to where we are today. So let's dive into this. So train Karen, if you aren't aware, is this lady that has now freaked out on a New York train at these tourists that were on it for not really much of a reason. She just made some xenophobic remark. Let's see what she did and how this started. But before I get into that, it's only right to talk about her history, right? If you remember and you go a little bit back, uh, you might remember her from a TikTok video where she was saying that she was gaslit by her boss. I've been contemplating making this video for two months and I'm gonna do it. I was gaslit by my former boss. Because she had a Nordstrom gift card. I won a gift card in a Christmas raffle last year at my old company. I won a $300 gift card to Nordstrom. And she said that there was $300 on it and she found out when she had it, there was only $8 on it. And she made a video saying that her boss went and purchased all this stuff on it. And she saw that there were some pants and there were some shoes purchased. Uh, and so by the time she went to spend, she was like, where was this money spent? And she found out it was spent in New York and it was spent on certain shoes. She remembered his shoe size from when they went shopping together. I don't quite frankly remember who was in the wrong there, but what I do know is that she did in fact delete that TikTok account, which is something that then goes over to what is this current situation. So kind of keep that in the back of your head as you're watching and as I'm going through this because that will lead to what I'm about to talk about. Where we're at today with this. So I saw this video that says, woman tweaking on train for no reason. And let's watch this video and see what happens. And her name, by the way, is not Karen. Her name is Brianna Pinnix, and we're gonna just get into that in a second. Hey. So she's saying that the people on the train are laughing at it and she's accusing these people as she's looking past him. And here he is just trying to calm her down so that she doesn't get arrested. And to my knowledge, from what I read here, it sounds like he was just looking at her and saying, Bree, don't do this. You could be arrested. And so let's just see what else what else happened in this video. <laughs> This guy goes, let me know what you got, trying to initiate her to punch him, to start a s situation. And at this point, I feel like people know that this is being filmed. And if you've been on the internet, probably remember the uh, airplane situation with that lady that freaked out that we all found out had like some sort of mental condition, which that's a little different than this. So I don't want to pair those two together. Uh, but it's eerily similar with the, uh, you know, the freak out meta going on in the internet. Seems like every month we get a good one of these videos. And there's nobody there, so I think she threw an air punch, and she tries to break through right here. So let's see what let's see how she kind of handles this. So right here, this is where he kind of grabs her by the arm and he says that these group of men were having just a private conversation and try not to start a conflict. But then listen to what she says. I love you, but... She goes, I love you, but get off of me. And then this is where the main TikTok is. How about you get the f out of our country? Do not. Are you, are you German? So he stands up to her and here she is again being like go ahead and punch me trying to get him to initiate a punch to kind of get her away from this because then if he were to punch her then you know the tides would turn but he doesn't do anything about it. Let's just see what how this kind of plays itself out. I can, I can handle my own. Three, two, 
Yeah, so this is just kind of a weak situation. You're probably wondering what's going on. I think it was just that she was drunk, and I assume there's going to be an apology video that is going to come of this, but if you're wondering who this is, her name is Brianna Penix. Now, people found this out just because of identification, uh, things like that, and they went to search for her on LinkedIn. When you search for Brianna Penix on LinkedIn, you'll see immediately that she was a talent acquisition at Capital RX uh, based out of New York. She's a senior technical recruiter, talent acquisition. Now, if you go here, you'll notice the profile's gone. Remember what I said earlier about her deleting the TikToks? Now she's deleted this. She has also deleted her Instagram. She kind of just wiped herself clean off social media. And you're probably wondering why she did that. Well, to remove her identification, and that didn't really do her too much because this is the update on the situation. So it turns out that she actually got fired from her job following this situation. The company saw this and their response was, our company has zero tolerance policy around prejudice or discriminatory behavior. After conducting a review in the circumstances, we immediately terminated the employee in question. Former employees' actions and words are not representative of Capital RX. We offer our sincerest apology to those who were hurt. And she has, you know, a history with not really being rude or mean to people. Um, in fact, if you dive into this a little bit more, you'll quickly find out that, you know, people were saying this recruiter has been described as an absolute, absolute pleasure. She has now declined to kind of explain herself when the media came over to her. But as you look upon this, you'll see that people are also saying she's a very nice person in person. So that leads me to believe another reason why she's probably drunk. Yep, that's where this situation lands. I expect a crazy and hilarious apology video from her. Because uh, we're not short of apology videos at this time of the year, are we? Just waiting. I'm just, I'm going to be waiting for this thing. So if you guys enjoyed this story and freaking internet drama, be sure to subscribe. That's what we talk about here. Internet drama, okay? It's kind of a cool thing that we do on this channel. If you enjoy that, then I'll see you next time. Peace out.